Happy Friday guys, April 5th. I am just doing a check on a client's house and then I've got to go check on my elderly gentleman. I've already gassed, um, put some gas in the car and then washed it. But I'm just checking on um, a client's house here and I'm gonna um, do a little bit of photo shooting. Not on me, but just photos in general. I haven't done any photography stuff in a while and I love to just shoot pictures. So. I'm going to take a few minutes and shoot a few pictures and the beauty that God has given us in the background. Beautiful palm trees. Uh, it doesn't get any better than this. The mountains are beautiful and the ocean is beautiful and I just need both of them all in one place. And then I'll be living the best life I can live. So yeah, that's what I'm doing today on Friday. Um, just checking on this house, making sure things are secure and there's no issues. Um, and then I'm off to visit my elderly gentleman. So, alright y'all, I will chat with you later. Hey guys, sorry. <sighs> Getting it straight here y'all. Um, home. gassed up the car, I washed the car, I went and checked on my house as you've seen, I checked on the elderly gentleman and he kept bringing up going to lunch, I really didn't feel like it or want to, but I did, took him to lunch, um, then I had to go to Target, and then I came back, so busy Friday and um, so that's what I've been doing today um, oh so for lunch I had um, um, my brain just went dead I had a salad and um, and then I had some sugar-free ice cream when I got home so that's what I had y'all and that's all I got for this moment talk to you later Filled up the bird feeder, y'all, for the birdies. Um, we had her all emptied out. I usually don't fill, keep filling it, but they looked so cute this morning like they wanted some more bird feed, so I filled her up. Hey, y'all, I'm going to show you a recipe for Hungarian beef steak with noodles. Um, and this is going to be keto style. So this is a recipe that was handed down to me by an old friend a long, long time ago. And it's such a good recipe. So I'm going to make that um, today. And I have grass-fed organic sirloin tips. Dry mustard, xanthan gum. Um, it just calls for regular paprika. I have smoked. Oops, not Italian seasoning. That was accidentally got out. Salt, garlic, olive oil, and stevia. Sorry, it's not focusing. Stevia brown sugar blend. Ketchup I haven't got out yet. And the onions I haven't got out yet. And then a little bit of water. So that's what we're going to make. And then also I am going to make some spiral zucchini noodles to go with it. Okay y'all, we're going to go ahead and get that turned on and start getting the pan hot and then we're going to go ahead and put in the beef tips. And I'm drinking a diet cherry Dr. Pepper. I know diet or sodas aren't the greatest for you, but every once in a while I just want one. So that's what I'm having. I'm going to put the um, sirloin tips in a minute and I've got to chop up the onions. Alright, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and put the sirloin tips in. Some good stuff. Wash my hands. Just gonna break this all up. These are already tips that are cut up in little chunks. And I probably could have cut them up even more, but it's giving me issues. 
So let's just do that while it's in the pan. Okay, y'all, I went ahead and um, sliced those up better, the sirloin tips, because I would have figured they would have been a lot smaller in chunks, but they weren't. Otherwise, I would have done it beforehand. Um, but they weren't. So, I went ahead and sliced those up while they were in the pan. No biggie. It's not going to hurt my pan. It's a cast iron pan best kind of pans you can use for cooking and now I'm just gonna slice up this onion and toss this in there also I've got it I got it on a lower speed my induction cooktop you guys are wondering this is an induction cooktop it's not a it's not the standard electric cooktop it's an induction so it cooks more thoroughly and has to have certain types of pans on it But this is the second one I've owned. I put one in my uh, motorhome when I had my motorhome. And I love it. Cooks fast. Cooks even. No complaints about it whatsoever. Easy to clean. Um, yeah. And because I can't use stainless steel pans, I use the cast iron. And I'm cooking these onion or cutting these onions relatively large. It doesn't matter um, unless you like your bits of onion small or you have somebody that's a picky eater, y'all. Then you can cut them however you desire. But I'm just doing a quick cut. And I did a whole onion in this, y'all. Alright, I washed my hands up and rinsed off the stinky onion cutting board. I'm just going to stir this up a little bit and I'm going to toss in some of my seasonings. And I'll crank it up a little bit. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and add my salt. So a teaspoon of salt. I eyeball it, as you all know. If I can get it open. I can get it open. There's a lot of humidity in the air, so things don't work like they should. Be generous with your salt, y'all. That'll keep your meat tenderized. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in my garlic powder right now. You can use fresh garlic if you want. I'm using garlic powder. And just however I feel like seasoning it, y'all. I might season it a little bit more in a little bit, but that's what I'm doing at this point. I'm just going to let this cook down, y'all, and I'm going to or caramelize the onions a little bit, and then we will get on with the rest of it. Okay, y'all, these are about cooked, and let's see if I can get you to see, yeah, there you go. Let me move this up a little bit. There, how's that? I'm going to show you what goes into this. I forgot also though, now yeah, y'all know I can't pronounce this. Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> Worcestershire, whatever. And I pulled out the ketchup. I got the no sugar. I'm finishing up this little bit of the regular ketchup. Because I don't like to waste stuff. I'm going to double this recipe, but I'm going to only give you the measurements for... The one serving a sauce. I like mine a little bit extra saucy because I am putting it with noodles. And you can double up the recipe if you want. So let's go ahead and start that. So it calls for three fourths of a cup of water. calls for a third of ketchup. Like I 
said, y'all, I'm using up what I got. I left the strain a little bit more. And I'm using my no sugar ketchup. Third cup. And like I said, I'm going to end up doubling all this, but I'm just showing you the single measurements because I like a lot of sauce. And then it says two tablespoons of the brown sugar. I got this on a really low temperature right now. So two tablespoons of the trivia mix. Two tablespoons of the Worcestershire sauce. Already done salt. I'm going to do a teaspoon of the dry mustard. And then it calls for cornstarch. I don't use cornstarch because I'm allergic to corn. Plus, it's not a good keto friendly option. I'm using xanthan gum. Okay, y'all. Um, I was using xanthan gum. Sorry, the the um, camera cut off there. I am just going to let this sit for a little bit and I will um, show you how I make my zucchini noodles. You can buy them already pre-done or you can do them yourself. So let me show you how that's done. Okay y'all. Let me show you how this is done. I bought this. This is a zucchini, carrot, whatever you want to use it for, um, spiralizer to make noodles. And um, there's a little locking lever right here that you just hit and it will, there, it will suction your cup to the thing so it doesn't slide. And I'm going to do squash, or zucchini and a squash for noodles. Alright y'all, I went ahead and washed these off. I'm just going to cut the ends off. Just to get the growing ends off of that. And this only goes so far. Sometimes it will go the whole length and sometimes it won't. If it doesn't, you just chop yours in half and slide it on there. Push it in. And there's a locking mechanism down here to lock it on. And then we just spiralize. And let me show you, you can't see it from this angle, so hold on a sec. Alright y'all, and then you just turn it, and it cuts out the noodles. And just go slow as you get towards the end, because the little teeth are going to rub. Right there. Pull this little doodad out. I even eat that, because it's just part of the zucchini. And then you pull her back. I even cook that up. And then you do your next one. Alright y'all, you can see I did the zucchini. Now I'm going to do the squash. It does up quite a bit. I will eat, end up eating this um, Hungarian beef stew for a, or Hungarian beef steak for a couple days. So now I'm doing the squash. 
You can do whatever vegetable you like. Okay, y'all. There's my mound of squash and zucchini noodles. And this right here, y'all, I don't know if I said that. Um, this right here you can get at Walmart. And there's different um, different thicknesses. This is the thin. Um, and you just rinse those off and clean them up and put it away. So um, really simple and easy if you want to take the time to do it. If not, you can buy the bags that are already spiraled. But I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it really quick and simple. A lot of times I'll just blanch them on the um, stove with a little bit of salt and water. But today I'm just going to pop it in the microwave in a, a glass bowl. Put a little salt on top. And just cook them a little bit till they're um, a little softer. And then I will put them on my plate and put the Hungarian beef steak uh, mixture on top. So I'll show you that. Okay, y'all, I went ahead and steamed these up. And like I said, you can blanch these in water. But I went ahead and steamed mine up. And I am just going to drain out any excess water out of there. And then mix everything together and it will be ready to go. Okay, y'all, I went ahead and poured the beef steak in there. And I'm just going to mix it up just like you would with noodles. Now, you don't have to do spiralized noodles. Um, you can do regular noodles. I'm doing the zucchini and squash because of the fact that I am doing keto. So I'm just going to mix that up. I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes and rest so the juices can go ahead and soak into the noodles and then it's ready to go. That's all there's to it, y'all. So that's Hungarian beef steak on top of zucchini and squash noodles. And y'all remember to live a simple, happy, healthy, tiny life. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button and hit that bell so you get notifications when I upload new videos. Give this recipe a try, y'all. Talk to you later.